name's Angus and welcome to Coaching and Support with Angus. And just off the back of our session today, I want to have a, a quick uh, chat with you about communications. Um, communications are really important, not just in our project management worlds, but in our professional and our personal lives across a whole range of arenas. And what I hope to do now is just un uncover some of the joys of effective communications and, and hopefully give you a few ideas of things to engage with or work with and um, maybe solve a few problems or, or bust a few myths on the way through. So um, I'm, I'm very lucky. I, I was uh, educated in an environment that respected language. And by the time I'd graduated high school, I'd uncovered some of the delights of not just the English language, but also French, German, Spanish, and Latin. Um, on my journey through life, I've added Chinese as a, as a language uh, to my toolbox, and I had to function for many years, but most of a decade in Chinese um, when I lived over in that country. And I have, have dabbled with Finnish. Finnish is a very complex construct and um, a unique language in its own right and I say dabbled in Finnish because it's with with a lot of language and um, within an environment we really have to work to get good at it to be competent and even as a, a professional of, of many years standing I always say if someone claims to be fluent or expert I, I always I'm a little bit cynical because the reason for why communications is a skill set and language delivery is a skill set we have to work on all of the time. And if we don't work at it, we, we, we lose our uh, competency and, and our functional ability. And even today, I sometimes find myself going, oh, I could have said that better or oh, I could have messaged that better. Um, Chinese, Chinese is a, a very contextual language and China as a country is also... You know, like Europe or even the US, it's the size of a continent. So you, you don't have a one size fits everyone's solution in the way you speak. And then if you look at your own country, I've had teams um, that are multilingual, Spanish, French, uh, English, and English you've got under the English umbrella, you've got uh, South African and Australian and New Zealand and American and Canadian. Uh, and, and then the UK, which can also be broken down into multiple different dialects under the Spanish speaking culture. In some of those teams, I had Mediterranean Spanish, then you've got Basque versus Catalan, and, and then you've got Latin American Spanish, and you've got all, all those countries, Argentinians versus Chileans. Um, and then in, in the English speaking world, you, you know, we've also got Europeans who speak English very, very well, but it's still not there. Their, their, their um, mother tongue, if you like. So what I'm coming to here is language is a great deal of fun. Um, and what I'm going to do is deconstruct messaging and then put it back together. And, and you know, you, if, if you work at language, even if you're monolingual, you only speak English or you only speak Spanish or you only speak French, be good at it because there's a lot to uncover. And, and many years ago, a, a wise person said to me, you know, who's training us on leadership aspects, think before you speak. When a message leaves your mouth, you can't take it back in. So connect brain to mouth. Think before you're going to say something or articulate something. Now, we do that verbally and written word and all other ways these days, but the fundamental foundation is think before you transmit and when you're ready to transmit check your message make sure your message is is relevant responsible and 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 worthy of the time you've spent on it so let's have a quick look here at um an image and we look at our communications driven driven through th three channels the verbal at seven percent the paralinguistic at 38% and the nonverbal at 55%. I'm going to leave this screen up for a little while so you can absorb it, but you're going to start with the verbal message. Now, 
what I like to say to people is at 7%, it doesn't make it unimportant. It actually makes it very important to think about the words you use. Words mean something. And everyone's interpretation of those words is driven by their own experience. They are not you, right? they are them. So how they interpret things okay is based on their experience so you've got to really not tread carefully but when you're trying to get a message out there think about what you're trying to say now a way to do this and a way to exercise the skill is have some fun dialogue with your friends but try and do it in a way where you raise a subject that you want to talk about and and not get overly emotional or subjective but just practice q a you know um talk about something completely random okay like the price of fruit and veg in the market and then use a bit of dialogue and talk about things you know and you get commonality and you speak to certain things and as you exercise that skill okay discover the differences as well as the similarities of language okay and i'm going to use a very random example if you think of the word banana Okay, we all think of a yellow thing, right? A yellow, slightly crescent-shaped um, fruit that we might see nice and shiny in our fruit bowl. When you get out in the world, bananas look different. Some look like plantains, some are not yellow, they're green, some are a bit brown. Okay, so just saying the word banana, if you think, say the word banana, and then say to yourself, what does that conjure up in my head? It may or may not be the same as as what is conjured up in, in, your, in your colleague or, or, or your team member's head. The same with car. If I say the word car, what appears in your brain, right, is driven by you, driven, if you pardon the pun, your experience, but someone else has a different preference or a different experience with vehicles, so they might be seeing something different. So how we use our language is... is, is is really important to consider that what is the meaning of the word for someone else if we want to get an effective message out.